So I don't know if the guy was trolling when he commented that he was a junior looking for a cybersecurity role or not, but I need to say it just so it's been said. Who knows? Maybe somebody will prove me wrong. The fact is, there is no such thing as a junior level cybersecurity role, not in the junior way that you're thinking if you don't have a prior tech role background and you haven't coded a day in your life. The fact is, if you're the sort of person who's never been a professional level software development engineer or programmer, and you're looking for a cybersecurity role that's a junior level for you, then you're never going to find it because there's no such thing. The fact, the cold hard fact is pretty much every single cybersecurity role that's out there is one that requires that you graduate to it after proving yourself in the prerequisite roles to get the experience and skills needed to actually be effective in cybersecurity. We kind of like look at cybersecurity people and hackers as like the elite or whatever. In fact, they're actually part of the culture. But the fact is, we look at them that way because they're the ones who put in the work to actually understand these things and teach themselves the skills needed to be effective in it. And so as a result of that, if you've never been a software development person or programmer or whatever, and you're looking to get into IT and looking to get into cybersecurity, then your goals are not aligned with what you're asking for. And quite frankly, you're not willing to put in the effort that you need at this point, because if you're not willing to code your butt off, then you're not willing to put the effort in that you need to be in cybersecurity. I get that there are junior roles in IT that are considered cybersecurity. And I also understand that if you are a IT person who's working as a sysadmin, part of your job is what I would just call blue team, in that your job is to defend the network from threats. You're going to you know, install antivirus. You're going to make sure there's security scans. You might even have a tripwire on the network. But if you're doing that kind of thing, you've already done the prerequisites. You've learned about networking. You've learned about allocations of IPs. You've learned about TCP, IP, all the fun things that happen on a computer network, especially when it comes to things like the big five stuff. And so as a result of that, you've already gained a certain level of skill and understanding about networking to be effective in a role from a blue team perspective. But when I see people say, oh yeah, I want to be an elite hacker type person and I'm going to be in cybersecurity and, I, and I'm, I'm thinking about maybe one day getting a, a degree or maybe going to a boot camp. I just roll my eyes because as somebody who's been doing this for 25 years, I have seen so many script kitties that just go out of their way to try to look elite when they don't know anything. And it's not a diss on them. They don't know what they don't know. It's just that they don't understand that the bar is up here and they're down here. And the problem is they're not willing to get the skills they need because they don't understand that those skills are desperately needed. And I don't know how to help them because I look at things like this. It's on my screen. And I know plenty of people who are fully qualified for these roles that can't get them. Why? Because I don't know why. The fact is, this is one of the great mysteries of the tech industry right now. We currently have, supposedly, we have a cybersecurity worker crisis with a desperate need for cybersecurity engineers. But if you've spent any amount of time working as a professional developer or you're willing to work red team as one, you're somehow not qualified to get into the industry. And I don't understand that personally. Uh, what I do see is a lot of people who get into IT and they want to do sysadmin type stuff. They want to install Windows updates. They want to install antivirus. They want to make sure that the registry is set up so that people can't do things on their computer without escalating to admin first. They want to do basic 
sysadmin stuff. And I wouldn't personally consider that to be cybersecurity. Yes, there is a part of that that is cybersecurity, but it's all blue team. It's about defense. It's about making sure that your system's up to date. It's about making sure that your system isn't unpatched. And so if you consider that to be cybersecurity, then okay, fine. You want to be in IT and you want to have a defense focus. You want to be blue team. Okay, fine. But you're not going to get there unless you actually have the skills first. And so if you come to me and you say, how do I be an elite cybersecurity warrior? I'm going to tell you, A, you need to get the prerequisite skills. You need to get the tech skills. And you need to prove that you're trustworthy for that kind of position. Because the biggest thing that a lot of people are missing when they want to look into cybersecurity roles is they haven't done the work to lay the groundwork to let people know that they're the kind of person that can actually fit that role. I see a lot of people who want to get into it who have problems, let's just say. Like, if you have a criminal record, you will never get into cybersecurity. Or you're going to be on the black hat side and you're constantly going to have to deal with problems, is, is, is what I'm going to say there. And, and so the issue here is if you are trying to force yourself into a cybersecurity role, but you are not willing to put the work in to become a programmer first, you are going to have a very hard time. And so as a result of that, I would recommend that anybody who wants to get into cybersecurity, take a cold, hard look at themselves and ask themselves if they're willing to put five years of effort into it first before their first role by doing something tech related that is not cybersecurity in order to get the skills that they need to be taken seriously in cybersecurity. Now, I'm biased. I know this. I'm Back in the 90s, if you were considered elite, it was because you actually knew what you were doing and you understood the whole stack. You did what is now known as DevOps. You did what is now known as application development. You did what is now known as reverse engineering. You did what was now is now known as just basic IT and sysadmin stuff. These were all different parts of the same world. That's no longer the case. But the fact is, I have all these skills. And because I look at the world in that way, I have a different opinion than somebody who's just starting out and has a much smaller map in their head. As a result of that, I look at articles like this and I scratch my head because I'm just like, well, why not hire them then? Because they're out there. I know a lot of them. They'd be happy to move into uh, what they call risk now and work in cybersecurity, but they're not allowed to. They're considered Overexperienced. That's why. And what it comes down to is cybersecurity companies want to treat you like a mall cop. Okay. They want to pay you like a mall cop, give you minimum wage, and tell you that you're valuable. But the fact is, most people want to get into cybersecurity because they think of it as a tech job. And as we all know, tech jobs pay a little more. So as a result of that, there's a Let's just say disparity there. And so if you're on the internet telling people that you want to get into cybersecurity, ponder that. Because if you want to get into ponder, you want to get in cybersecurity, then you should be in tech first. And if you're not in tech first, then, well, you're never going to get into cybersecurity because what you're basically trying to do is jump over all the work and titles that you should be getting first to be able to actually qualify for that role.